blood on me! Yeah, all one drop of it. What reason would Amethyst have to make this pose in the middle of an argument? It doesn't exactly show your dominance, it just makes you look like an idiot. You are just so childish! Says the one screaming and literally throwing a hissy fit at the moment. Fine. I think we really got through to her. Also, every single gem, including Garnet, just ignores Steven here. I get Amethyst being so heated that she didn't check on him, but Garnet? That's really unlike her. Why didn't he do that earlier? Also, how did Amethyst not hear the equivalent of glass shattering there? Also, also, Steven sleeps in this area every night. So why does Amethyst think opening her loud ass door and sprinting through there at full speed when she's trying not to be spotted is a good idea? Amethyst looks like she's about to shapeshift in this shot, but then in the next shot, she just stops for some reason. There's something about really everything regarding Steven in this shot. His creepy ass eyes, the downright goofy way he walks here, and this when he turns to the camera. It just makes this look so goddamn weird. In the ring, nobody can tell me what to do. Nobody can tell you what to do anyway. Amethyst Gem is missing in this shot. In this shot, the seat in front of Lars is empty with the seat next to it being filled by this guy. But in a later shot, the guy is moved to the seat in front of Lars. I'm just using you to get the tag team belt. I'll do all the actual fighting. Who needs subtle storytelling and slowly building up to something when you could just tell the audience straight up what's going on? Everybody knows that's infinitely more interesting. I feel like this is another one of those really underappreciated songs in the show's soundtrack. It's honestly really catchy to me. He already had the galoshes on when he spilled the soda. You couldn't afford it! Whoa! Never thought I'd live to see the day when a contender turned on his own fans. I fail to see why this is a big deal. You'll have to excuse me if my wrestling knowledge is a bit off kilter here, but I thought the entire point was that all of it was just for fun and to create characters that eventually make a fun narrative. So if Tiger Millionaire, in character mind you, did that to somebody who was in the know of how wrestling works, shouldn't that person then realize that him doing that is all a part of the character? Hell, Steven himself even says that. I thought we were just having fun! And bear in mind, Tiger Millionaire's character is all about being cruel to people according to the wiki, and I'd assume that's why Lars Lars grew to like Tiger in the first place. So then why does Lars, someone who I would think frequents this event and knows how everything works, essentially throw a tantrum over this? I get Lars is kind of a selfish prick and that might be the point of his character, but that's still a dumb, inconsistent way to write this in my eyes. And really, with shots like this one, it honestly feels like the audience is suddenly ripping themselves out of the story because Tiger... acted in his character? I don't know if that was meant to be the point, but if it is, it's so sloppily done that I don't see it at all. Dashing Dave Duber and handsome Hank Hagelschmidt! If that's supposed to be dashing and handsome, I don't think I even want to begin to find out what ugly looks like in this universe. The Purple Puma and Tiger He's awful because he hurt me specifically. Twitter. I thought we could use some promotion. Garnet's middle finger is the wrong color in this shot. Amethyst and Steven disappear in this shot. Props where they're due, this is honestly one hell of a climax. Probably one of the best this show has had so far. I want to tell you Purple Puma's backstory. How in the fuck does this speech work? I have my doubts that Pearl would even understand what the hell Steven is going on about, but even putting that aside, how was Pearl specifically able to see that as an excuse? Her problem is that Amethyst used her gem powers selfishly against humans in what she called a circus of violence, and then dragged Steven along with her. This speech should not affect that reasoning at all. I think Pearl would feel that just because Amethyst felt left out and that she didn't belong didn't give her an excuse to supposedly go commit violence against humans. I mean, nowhere in this speech is it actually explained what wrestling is, and surely Pearl doesn't actually know because she literally refers to it as some kind of mindless violence with no point. So to Pearl, this is just violence for violence's sake because the writing here is so poor. So why would she allow this? 
We want to stop all wrestling everywhere. Are you going to let us destroy all wrestling? The same thing applies here. For all we know, Pearl knows absolutely nothing about wrestling and how it actually works. So how is Pearl able to just about effortlessly go along with Garnet here and try to come up with a fictional storyline without her being utterly confused? And they've taken down Captain Square. Captain Square. I love you, Tiger Millionaire. And now, why does Lars suddenly like Tiger Millionaire again? Because he stood up for wrestling? You know, like any other wrestler would probably do, and something that blatantly goes against his established character? Even despite all the problems I've had with Lars's inconsistency, I find it hard to believe something like that would make him love Tiger again.